Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's VBA tip teaches you how to run code every hour, minute, second, or indeed any amount of time that you want to run it. If you want to follow along this, you go to ExcelExperts.com and then you can search the site on run code and you'll get to number nine VBA tips run code every hour, minute or second. You can download the spreadsheet with the code and follow along with this tip. So the example here is we have a share price and this is a live feed coming in. So I've just simulated a live feed by um, a random function. So every time I calculate, it will calculate a new price and then calculate the price change. But this is the old share price. So what I want to do is every period of time, I'll start off with it every second, I want to copy that over, recalc the new price and then calculate the price change. How do I do that in VBA? Okay, look at the VBA code that we need to run this. It's a little bit complicated and it takes quite a bit of understanding. So the first thing you see is dim time to run. So this time to run here, the reason it's dimensioned up here is because it needs to be a global variable and shared between the various subroutines. Auto open runs when you open the spreadsheet. First thing it does is it schedules the event to copy the price over. This schedule says, when, you sh when should you run? Well, take now and add the time value of this. Here, this is hours, minutes, and seconds. So if that's 24, it's a day. If that's one, it's a second. So you can run it every 10 seconds, 30 seconds, however often you want, just by changing these values here. Then it says, this is when this is when you're going to run and then run this procedure here at this time this procedure copies the price over so first thing it does is calculate then it just copies the price over in a single line and then it interestingly it reschedules itself so this then gets caught in an infinite loop until it's stopped how do you stop it will you unschedule the next event and that happens on auto close. If you don't have this in auto close, this false to sh unschedule it, then you won't be able to close the spreadsheet because it will continue to reopen. So let's see how this works. I'm going to uh, get rid of this and I've created two buttons. One says start, one says stop. So if I click start, it runs auto open. And you'll notice every second it's copying the price over and calculating the change. We can see this changing every second, and it's just the value. To stop it, just click on stop. You've been listening to excelexperts.com. Thank you for listening.